Hi and welcome back to my Vaults playthrough and in this episode I'm going to be looking at some of the missiles that are in Vaults because Vaults is mainly a multiplayer mod pack and it's mainly based around big explosives just picked up put it there so my original plan was to use this big tunnel I dug out and shoot the missiles out from down here but they kept flying off and blowing up the side so I've had to build it a bit higher so I've got my basic staircase here for now and I've had to run a some power up because they require power to run and what I've done is I've connected it to a battery box up the top so that it has enough supply to launch quite a few oh and I've also after the battery box used some silver wire instead of copper because silver wire is able to transfer power much quicker and have I got any... no they're all, all my bits are in there yeah, insulated silver wire is it's the same recipe as normal wire, copper wire, but you use silver ingots instead. And that sends just sends the power much quicker. So what you'll need is now leave and now I've got space, pick up all these missiles. These are some of the explosives. These are what you'll need to make the missiles. Well, I'll go into that into a in a minute. Okay, so the first thing you need to make when you build a missile is the launcher or control panel. And the uh, yeah, recipe for this is seven bits of glass, control circuit or basic circuit in the middle, and a copper wire at the bottom. And you want to put that down in front of where you want to launch your missiles from. Oh yes, I've also set up a nice missile, missile silo door opening system. That's just some redstone connects up to a lever. Yep. And what, anyway, the launch control panel is what you need to actually set the target coordinates. As you can see, there's actually firstly block inaccuracy at the moment because these are tier 1 control panels and launchers actually and that can be reduced by the use of this support frame but I'll, use, I'll show that in a sec next thing you want is the main part you launch your platform these are all tier 1 you can upgrade these to more advanced versions uh, but the recipes are get more and more expensive but for a tier 1 launch platform you need 7 pieces of bronze and the control or basic circuit in the middle you want to put that right behind your control panel and you can see now it's connected but the missile silo is empty but I want to reduce that inaccuracy so I'm going to build a support frame support frames are quite cheap they're just seven bronze and if I put down that that goes right behind your launcher now which drop from 30 blocks to 15 but you can reduce it even further by let's just pick it up pick up this steel and uh, I need a crafting bench and just drop down that parachute's brilliant Take no damage. Just put a launcher support frame in the middle and then three steel on the right and three steel on the left. You make a launcher support frame tier 2. And if you want, if you have enough steel, put a tier 2 launcher support in the middle and three steel plates on the left and three steel plates on the right. You can make a tier 3 and that reduces the inaccuracy even further. But I don't really have enough steel to be using on 
reducing it because at the moment a tier 1 takes it down from 30 to 15 tier 2 doesn't look any different if you upgrade the, these to tier 2 and tier 3 they they change colour and that's the only visual difference well now the inaccuracy is 7 blocks so it's pretty much on target it's just 7 blocks in any direction so, so you have a 15 by 15 area of around your target coordinates now what you want to do is click you can either click in here and put in the coordinates of wherever you're targeting or you can build a radar gun a radar gun is three steel ingots on the right a button in the middle basic or control circle up top and glass in the top left what this lets you do if you right click it scans the coordinates of any block you click on so let's just go here and point it at this conveniently built house uh, this house is just filled with some sheep just so I can test on some missiles on you want to click on the middle of it and then you want to shift and right click on the control panel and it puts in the coordinates for you and you want to put a lever next to the control panel and that activates it so all oh, whoops I've already picked up missiles now right click on launch platform and you can put in your missiles or you can directly you can either put them straight in there and it puts them in or you can just right click and put the missile in the launcher and wow that's quite close to the top but, yeah and now this is the conventional missile this is our bed conventional missile it's the most basic form of missile you can get the recipe for it is a missile module which you need for every type of missile and some condensed explosive missile module is five steel a controller basic circuit in the middle and some coal that makes one missile module and the condensed explosive is two TNT and a redstone makes three condensed this is the most basic so let's just see what kind of damage it does fires off and look out here and you can see it flying in the air, comes down and boom so it doesn't do a lot of damage let's just go check and back across this river need to make a bridge across there so then as I keep coming out over all the time and what it's done is pretty much just blowing a hole in the roof so yeah that's slightly bigger than a normal TNT explosion but you can fire these from as far away as you like and they'll hit so let's go try some other missiles and I think let's try an attractive missile if I can get up oh what am I doing I'm trying to climb up a man in and the doors around here my nice wheat farm side growing but no one who's interested I actually think I need some let's just I should have oh I've got any no I need some steel oh there we go let's just let that cook and I'll test a different missile Okay, so now the next missile we will test is the chemical. These green missiles are the basic missiles and the reds are slightly more complicated. And then beyond them is the blues. But there's one through five 
Uh, I can't be asked counting. There's that many missiles. So there's quite a good choice. Conventional shrapnel, incendiary chemical anvil, repulsive attractive, fragment contagious, and then only a nuclear cluster, hypersonic, the late game ones, which are red matter and anti-matter, anti-gravity missiles, nuclear EMPs, exothermic, endothermic, and so on. But for now, chemical missile, which is another missile module, and chemical explosives, which is made with repulsive explosive and poison powder. Poison powder is a spider eye and rotten flesh, will make you free. And repulsive explosive is too condensed explosive in this form. If you place them sideways, you actually make attractive explosive instead. So let's just put that in and close the roof. Ready to launch. There we go. And you see it flying through the air, bit sound. And we'll slowly kill all them all the animals inside. And the skeleton on the roof. There we go. Then, and now that entire house is dead. And thanks to my silver wire, this is already charged back up. If you use copper wire, it does take a while to charge. But now let's let's try and get this done. There's one missile I forgot to already make. I should need a mm. run out of everything that I actually wanted to make a missile. New attractive? No, I didn't want that. The missile module. Bronze plate, redstone, some wires. So a bronze plate. Or redstone and the what? Oh, I need one coal. The wires are all upstairs. Let's just build. So we have to keep that down. In case I forget anything else. So back up to the top. And place it down there. Uh, I already have some attractive explosives. Again, this is attractive explosive sideways. As you put two condensed explosive sideways, and repulsive is two above. And these are just normal condensed. So I want not that. One plate. Or return. Four wires, base circuit in the middle, coal on the bottom, and two still bottom left, two still bottom right, and one top. And missile model and attractive explosive. There we go. Now place that in. The top does actually change for each of the types of missiles. That and the number, but other than that, they pretty much look the same. All the same level ones. Now, where's this ank? I can actually hit the same there. Because the tracks of explosives tend not to do a lot of damage to actual buildings, but do work on. Oh, let's just. I'll just show it. This goes up, comes back down, and. There you go. It doesn't cause a massive amount of damage, but it throws around any any people or mobs that are nearby. So if you have a lot of these, you can fire them at your friends and just me mess with them, pretty much. 
Just have them jumping about. Okay, so next, let's go on to some dangerous explosives. We had the incendiary, and I've just remembered I've got to change the targeting back. This radar gun does make it very easy to target, so I recommend you build one. And to be doing this, place that in, and that one actually does go through my roof. Anyway, let's just launch. And falling, boom. And as you can tell by name, incendiary explosives start fires. Now all the wood in that house will burn down, pretty much. You can watch it in my map, or just watch it normally. I'm kind of waiting for that to run out. What the hell? Oh, I think I hit an Enderman and he's kind of annoyed. Oh well. Okay, so now we have Fragment Missile. Ah, oh, I didn't show you how to build. Ah, oh, I just remembered. Where was Incendiary? Because these are more complicated than normal. I need a missile module and incendiary explosive. Incendiary explosive are repulsive explosives. A bucket of lava and seven sulfur. Sulfur is just one of the ores that gets added in with the mod pack. And it's, there's loads of it around underground lava streams. Like there's, It's just all along the side so you won't have trouble finding it. And place that. And as you can see, these red missiles are quite a lot bigger than the green. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's now like a present sticking out of the ground. So I'm probably going to need to move this all down a level. And just to show, let's just do this quick. Do this after, show the difference in how fast this charge is between silver wire and copper wire. But first, where should I? Should I let's just aim back there. Aim at that again. And there you go, on shot. And boom! See, what that does is it hits the ground and fires off lots of smaller explosions around it. Is that with, what was that again? Fragment missile, yeah. So it hit the ground there and managed to explode bits over here. I think one went off over there, a few over the back. And just to finish this off, just putting in these coordinates. As you can see, there's no jewels. Put in a copper wire. No, it still goes at that speed. Because most of it's silver anyway. Oh well. So that's kind of a bit unrealistic. That, I think go through. Ah, oh, keep forgetting to show the recipe. So you need. A for fragmentation missile, missile module again. Fragmentation explosive, which is four shrapnel, and an incendiary, which was the one I showed before. And shrapnel is a repulsive explosive and eight arrows. All and repulsive, one on top of the other. And finally, the strongest one I've made, thermobaric which requires a repulsive explosive in the middle, four chemical explosives, and four incendiaries, all to make one thermobaric explosive. Place that in. Again, go through the roof. And try launch. 
Ah. Alors, pas bien. Boom. I actually had to reload the chunks. Or at least that creeper gave me a better view. Now, what remains is just bits of floating blocks, mostly. So it's a decent sized explosion. Take out any small base and or we'll just get people stuck apparently in the rubble. So there you go. That was the thermobaric explosive. Just get it out of oh, getting stuck in a crater. Trying to find a closer viewpoint now, she shows it all. Yeah, this will have to take. And that's what that one does, and that's only a medium sized. Round back is the strongest of the reds, not including the nuclear cluster. Because that's nuclear. Ooh, cluster missile. You can make with three conventional missiles and a fragment missile. I don't know, do you think I have enough? No, I don't have enough stuff to make one. I'll try and get one of them in next time. But for now, you can do look at nuclear missiles, require uranium and thermobaric, EMPs, which will wipe out any machines, exothermic, which will burn everything, that's like a massive incendiary, endothermic, which turns everything into ice, anti-gravity, which is eye renders and repulsive explosives, which means, and they're quite cool because they'll throw all the blocks in the air and the blocks will just land randomly around for about 10 chunks in every direction, probably more. And then after that you get to Ender, which sends everything in its radius into the Ender. Hypersonic, which just digs a giant tunnel down. Antimatter, which will destroy anything. And red matter, which will create a black hole. That's really interesting. requires Anti-matter explosive and strange matter, which is incredibly hard to get. But that uh, that's all I got for now. So see you next time.